Do you think the immigrants that are already here, you think they should get sent back as well? Yeah, I do, yeah, 100 million percent sent back. Send them all back. You can go to the most conservative area and get them to vote for me. Then, um, when I'm Prime Minister, I'll, uh, I'll do a few favours for you. You see my skin colour, but you want me to die? I mean, you'll be fine. KOK OK reporting live on BTG News. Massive Billy the Goat, the number one journalist in the streets. Obviously, I'm outside of Richmond right now. Actually, where Nico Milana is running for Prime Minister. So you guys are obviously in the interview I done with Nico. He sent me the challenge to try and convince as many people to vote for him as possible. So yeah, man. Let's see what the people are saying. I can't lie, it's literally looking empty right now. I don't know where everyone is. Let's see what's going on. So you mind if I grab one of these leaflets? Help yourself. Yep. Thank you, mate. Who's that? Is it BTG? What does that stand for? BTG News, biggest uh, news station in Nigeria. Are you allowed to say you're voting for or no, you're not allowed to say? No, we're not allowed at all. Flip and no, the Illuminati got these, man. They kidnap your family? No, 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 no. So what's the name, bro? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Nah. Why did you did you vote for Rishi? I didn't say nothing. What do you think about Nick or Milano running for Prime Minister? I, I'm not saying anything either way. So you're not saying nothing? Brother, these lot of things, they're in a police station. All I'm here is no comment, no comment, no comment. Why are they not trying to tell me who they're voting for, bro? They mean like I'm asking for their flipping sort code and account number. Yeah, mate, you just voted. How do you, you feel? Do you feel nervous? Unfortunately, also you don't want Labour to win. No, I don't. Who do you, who do you want to win? You know what, I, I'll go for Big Nigel. So what do you, what do you think about the people that accuse him of being racist? Uh, I just think the wokery of this world is always going to say that these days, right? You can't say anything without someone being offended. But you have no problem with people like me, do you, mate? No, not at all. Do your homework at Nick or Milano. He's running for Prime Minister and he's going to win. Definitely better than Nigel Farage or whatever his name. <laughs> I'll, I will go and look it up. So if you, have you got kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask them about him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell them Billy the Goat told you to ask about Nick or Milano. My broski man, take care, my G, my guy, man. Hey, Nigel Farage, man. I want to see uh, poverty alleviated. I want to see students getting a good deal. I want to see immigrants being allowed to come to the country. Exactly like me. Lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of those things you say actually apply to me. Good. Because I'm in poverty. Oh. You can tell by my outfit. <laughs> well, you look really nice. You think so? Yes, you are. Nah, nah, we're actually trying to flirt with me. Nah, we're actually flirting. Who are you filming for? Uh, BTG News. Okay. Well, <laughs> all the best. You, have you ever heard of BTG News? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So you, that's a, that's more homework for you to do. I've seen something on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, yeah. all the best. And, yeah, you know, well done yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, what do you think about Nicholas and Milana and his party? Who? What is it about the Green Party that stood out? I think they're okay. holding out some hope for young people, and the young people are our future. Yeah, like 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 me and you. Oh <laughs> well, like you. I'm voting for you, basically. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. There's actually a candidate that I'd like to present to you that I think you should... If you're talking about young people, if you're talking about people that really like young people, really like kids, you should vote for Nicholas or Milano. No, I don't. Uh, filming for yeah, it's BT BTG News. Yeah, Billy the Goat is actually the number one news station. <laughs> the number one news station in 16 countries across the world. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I hope it's a young person station. Good yeah, it's me. It's my station. I'm young. I'm 43. I'm 43. You look way younger than that. Well, how old are you? I'm 72. Oh my god, I thought you was way younger than that. I thought you was like my age. <laughs> Don't be silly. Right. If I come to you and I'm filming you and you haven't authorised it, are you alright with I'm that? I'm not filming people. No. I wasn't filming but people. I, I was upstairs. Like, Ooh, you. I thought you were from the papers. Okay, so yeah, man, I can't lie. The last location went a bit left. They kicked us out. Friends called the police. So yeah, man, we came to another polling station at like five minutes around the corner. What's it called? St. Michael's Church. Is that what it's called? St. Michael's Church. So yeah, another polling station. Still in the same area. Let's see what the people them are saying, man. Let's see what the people are saying. I'm not going to tell anyone, but between me and you, yeah, who, 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 who are you recording for? Uh, BTG News, the number one uh, news station in 16 countries across the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're online? Everywhere, online, TV, radio, um, X videos, everywhere. Okay, I'll tell you who, I'll tell you afterwards once I'm done with my vote. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. So I'll be waiting right here. Yeah. Okay. So should I put like a GPS tracker so I'll make sure you come back here? No, it's all right, I'll come back. Okay, so no more, I'll be waiting, yeah? Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, cause my dad told me he's going to come back, he never came, but no, I, no. I got trust, I got trust issues. I'll okay, are you, are you definitely going to come back? Yeah, I said no more, thank you, thank you. Thank you yeah, please do, please do, please, 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 please. Are you guys confident that whoever you voted for is going to win? Uh, yeah. Probably. And do you mind sharing who that is, or are you trying to keep it a secret? No, it's Lib Dem. It's the only people that ever win around here. So it's and explain why, like, what is it about Lib Dem? They're, I hate the Tories. I hate the Tories so much yeah. that you vote for a party you don't actually care about, just the Tories don't win. That's right. As a hater myself, I commend you. And that is generational hate. <laughs> what, what's BTG then? Uh, BTG is actually the number one news station across 16 countries across the world. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah, congratulations for even making it onto the platform. <laughs>
<laughs> Congratulations for still being alive, I would say thanks. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate, how are you feeling about the election? Are you voting? I have voted, but it was uh, probably the hardest uh, choice I've had to make since I was able to vote when I was 18. So what was so hard about um, you voting? You, was you, was you hard? I vote, but I don't uh, believe that it's not a great lineup this year. Okay, okay. It's like, like, basically, like, like Love Island, kind of. <laughs> like Love Island, very good. Very, very knackered lineup. Yo, back, you actually came back. I make my promises. So talk to me, man. So how do you feel, man? How do you feel about your vote? You pray you say Bismillah before you put it in. No, did he? I didn't say Bismillah before I put it in. I'm not Muslim, but I thought very carefully about who I'm going to vote for. And I voted with my head. So number one, let's dissect what you just said. You said you voted with your head. Can you explain what you mean by that, please? Um, yeah, well, I, I, I just don't want the Tories back in. Mm, okay, so um, what I was going to ask you was, have you ever heard of Nicholas and Milano? No. Okay, so he's actually running for Prime Minister as well? Prime Minister? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, not heard of him. You have no confidence in him? I don't know who he is, so... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I think you should do your homework on him still. All yeah. right. Oh my God, is that Simon Cole? Simon. Simon. Yeah, mate. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hey. Simon Cole, I'm a big fan. My mom's a big fan of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my next fight. When's the, when's the next fight to come back? I remember your mum well. So we finally left Richmond, now we've come to a new location. When I've done my homework, apparently this is the most conservative area in the UK. We're outside the polling station right now. The name of this place is actually called, I believe it's called Canvey Island. Brother, that sounds like a location on GTA, bro. It sounds like never a prison or something. But yeah, man, we're going to investigate whether really this is the most conservative area in the UK. We're going to see if they're racist, and let's see who they're voting for, man. Voting? No, I voted last week on postal voting. Okay, yeah, I see you've got a badge that says conservative. Yeah. So um, what do you do? You work for them or you're part of them? No. Or are you just meat riding? Just meat mayor. Why? Why do you think they get bad press? I don't know. You think it's deserved? Nah, I don't really. <laughs> so why do you think everyone hates Tories? Don't know. I mean, I've been a Tory conservative all my life. You've been conservative your whole life. Oh yeah. What, what do you think about the migration? The migration policy. Migration. I think it's got to be looked at. Looked at in what sense? You think it should be reduced? Like, less immigrants should come into the country. She can't let everyone in. Is he asleep? Cameron's asleep. No, he's just Filipino. Oh, well. <laughs> no, the Tory and him came out eventually. How can you ask the cameraman to sleep, bro? He's just Asian, bro. He ain't asleep. That's how they look, bro. I'm here. Yeah, mate, you okay? So you just finished voting? Yes. How you, do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, do you want to be shot or hung? They're all shit. They're all. All of them? All of them. So who'd you vote for? Reform, mate. You vote for reform? Yeah. Nigel Farage? Yes, no. But I fuck Nige. Yes, lad, you okay? Since you just voted? Yep. How do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, it's been the first time I've voted in a while, but. Oh, that's class. It's Mascot. Uh, the way the country's going, every vote counts. Can you do me a favour, please? Can you just do, the, do that for a second? And do <coughs> <coughs> okay, now talk again? Yeah, every vote. Bomb, bar, ras, class. This is just my voice. Oh, congrats. congrats. Yeah. Can I ask what the blue, blue bandanas for you? Like a crit? Uh, no, because the summer's getting hotter, I tend to sweat quite a lot. So the bandana is just to cover up the smell. Okay, okay, makes it. Yeah, because I'm a cleaner by trade. Is it kind of ask who you voted? Uh, I voted for the Green Party. Basically, the Green Party, what they promise, to help bring cost of living down. And you believe them? Well, it's better than the other options. Basically, the best of two evils. Say no more. Man, like Seamus, Kadar, my bros, I appreciate you, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Have a good ride home, yeah? No diddy. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Happy, happy election day. Happy election day. Oh, how's your election going? Yeah. Yeah, are you, are you voting today? I think, think I'm the best candidate to talk to because I can't be bothered with election. Oh, you're not voting? No. Nah. Neither am I, mate. <laughs> Look at all the UK flags here. Flipping hell, bro. Like, we get the point. Look at this meat riding, bro. You guys voting today? What? You guys voting? Yeah, How come? What made you vote for a four? Change like in what sense? Well, all kinds of sense. In, in, with the with the um, immigrants coming in, um, the the way you expect things are costing. When you, when you say immigrants coming in, what do you mean? We're all on the boats. Oh, banana boats. What, do you, what do you mean by banana? What do you mean? What do you mean by banana boats? Well, well, the boats that come across from France, like. Why did you use like the phrase banana boats? Well, 
Yeah, well, that's, that's just me, like, you know, being silly. But, like, the thing is, though, like, the government is struggling enough as it is, right? I've been homeless with four kids for a year. They've housed everybody, all the immigrants, and not us. That takes the people. You're saying that immigrants are taking your houses? Yeah, 100 million percent they are. Yes. I know an immigrant. It lives in South End. You, you know an immigrant? Yes. One? Not just one. No, I know a few of them because their families come over here as well. So not just one. So don't twist my words. They've come over here. They've been housed straight away. Come over here. House, got housed straight away. I've been homeless for a year. I've worked all my life. I'm 39 years old. Worked all my life. I'm my own business. I'm homeless with four children. And it took me a year to be put in one room with four kids. Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think the immigrants have been housed before you? Because they've got some sort of more rights over us. That's what it is. Like the amount of people that are coming here. But there seems to be a lot of space around here, though. <laughs> you're you're talking, are you trying to get a room around here? Or a flat? Like for us, it's too expensive. Then there's too many immigrants coming into the, into the country. Well, yeah, basically, yeah. Seriously, I'm going to have to go and live on a boat because I can't get a house. Like Sully, like Sully. Yeah, like Sully and Top Boy. No, I'm going to Top Boy. I swear as much as I can. So you guys feel like there's a serious immigrant crisis in the UK? Big time. Yeah, big time, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fair on our side. You know? yeah, like a specific type of immigrant or just all of them? Well, all of them, basically. Like, you know, there's not enough room in the country for us, if you know what I mean, like British people. Yeah, there's not enough room for you guys? Yeah, yeah. It's all young men. All young men. They say it's all women and children. Ain't women and children. It's all young men. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a few women and children as well. Yeah, a few women and children, but you, come on, you know yourself. Yeah. What channel is that on? BTG News is on a new Nollywood. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look for that then. So you said stop the, close the border? I think they should close the border. There's not no one else in. If anyone comes over on a boat, send them back. Finn, do you think the immigrants that are already here, you think they should get sent back as well? Yeah, I do, yeah. 100 million percent sent back. Send them all back. Even me? Why not, why not me? Because you ain't an immigrant, are you? Are you an immigrant? Well, you, did you come over on a boat? You, you know immigrants can go on plane. They can come on planes as well. Yeah, but did you come over on a boat? Are you, are you an illegal immigrant? Oh, you, but you didn't specify illegal. Yeah, are you an illegal immigrant? No, nah, well, not, not last time I checked, I was legal, in, but yeah. things might have changed. What do you think, mate? Uh, about what? Anything, just about life, man. Talk to me. How's your life been going? I really don't know. But I think this country, from where it used to be, is not the same anymore. Any town in this country, what you go to, there's all, like, populations of uh, Somalians, Albanians. Somali, Somali. Yeah, they all run drugs, man. Have any of them ever, like, sold to you before? No, no, mate. No, 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 no. So you're not one of their customers? No, of course I ain't. They, they should just stop them from coming all together? Oh, I don't know, my friend. Seriously. What, what do you think the solution is? I don't know. Mm. I really don't know. I don't think they know either. Can you tell me the solution? <laughs> I don't know either. Really? Black friends look like me? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, really? What's the name? I'm not telling you, it's a secret. Oh, it's a secret? Oh, he, <laughs> oh, okay, he trained you, trained you, no comment. Do you vote yourself? No. Why not? I've never voted in my life. I How come? Know. I really don't know, my friend, seriously. No disrespect to Broski, but he looks like he's been through at least four world wars, bro. Flipping hell, fam. You telling me, G? How's going, bro? You good? You say you're from around here? Yeah, man moved in not long ago. Oh, yeah, but there are many of like, many of like us around here? Couple, not that much, though. What, like three, four? Yeah, I only know like three or four. He said, chat to me, if you was vote, do you know anything about that or what's going on? I know bad guys are saying they're going to vote Reform UK and that, but... Well, is that what they're saying around there? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't, like, that's not a good sign, you know, Reform is kind of racist. It's racist, isn't it? They don't want the immigrants, isn't it? That's what I'm saying, bro. What country you from? Oh, Ghana still. Yeah, and I don't think they should let you guys in, so I can't lie. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like, even like it was high, fam. Why are you, why are you talking, talking the two words every ten seconds, bro? What's on that scraps? I can't lie to you, I thought it was gonna end up getting rushed off, get told to go back to Nigeria. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. One thing that I did clock, yeah, through my whole investigation, I've been doing this election so far, yeah. One thing that I've noticed is, bro, no one gives a shit about politics anymore. This country has lost all hope in all politicians, bro. It's gone to the point where people are trusting YouTubers like Nicole Milano in 10 down the street over actual politicians okay 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 so we just left canvas island can't lie we did meet a lot of tories we did meet a lot of people that want to want immigrants out of the country so we literally came to the place here yeah, where there probably is the most migration one of the most multicultural areas in london we're here we're in brixton right now this politician is flipping empty bro. no one well no one in brixton don't vote or something chat to me chat to me bro what are you telling me bro? my man's good still he's like you voting are you voting today are you guys voting today no but <laughs> I'll be so rude. I have a vote for you. I don't even get a for that. Who, who you voting for? Who you voting for? Nicole. I don't even get to hear you. You voting for Nickel? I don't have a vote for Nickel or Labour. My boy, Nickel uh, or Labour? Yeah, Nickel or Labour, because Labour can help us, innit? Because I feel like Labour's just one good person still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Labour's a good person? Yeah. Okay. And also, Nickel, 
Like, I, 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 I just want him to be Prime Minister, innit? Because mm -hmm. he will make but, our life better, innit? Yeah, yeah, bro. But just so you know, Labour's not actually a person. Person, It's, like, it's a group of people. Fairs, fairs. Nickers, one person. Free for Nickers, Nickers, the best in the bit. Everyone, free Nickers! Free Nickers! I can't lie, Nickers got the streets in the headlock right now, still. He's got the streets on lock, he's got the streets on lock, still. Who did you, who did you vote for? Who, me? Yeah. Jesus. So who did you vote for? Um, I vote for Green Party. <laughs> Why? I just thought green, you know, environment stuff. You actually think they have a chance of winning? No. So, so you don't think that's a bit of a waste of a vote? Yeah. Fair enough. As I can't lie, I've been here for way too long and nothing ain't been happening. The conclusion is that when you come to certain areas, bro, certain managers don't give a shit about politics, innit? So yeah, guys, I feel that's the end of the video. All you politicians, I hope you know you've lost faith in your people. Yeah, let's go.